On a weeknight, after a busy day, it's really nice to have a quick meal that you can just throw together in no time. So I'm going to give you a suggestion for a meal that is quick and easy, it's budget friendly, and it's delicious. So there's a couple things you need to do ahead of time, and that is have some cooked brown rice in the refrigerator. I've got one cup of uncooked rice that I've cooked. So typically you get about three cups of rice. This is a brown uh, basmati rice that I'm using today. And then I toasted some slivered almonds, a quarter cup of almonds for five or six minutes at 350 degrees in the oven, and they just get a nice light golden brown. Then I've already chopped an onion. Oh, and the other thing you need is a bag of frozen mixed vegetables in the freezer. We're going to use that in this curried fried rice. So easy, just a few ingredients. I've already chopped an onion and I've sauteed it until it's nice and tender and clear. I'm going to add two teaspoons of curry powder. Curry powder is like a power blend of spices. Always turmeric, some cumin, ginger, cinnamon, peppers. It's just a really wonderful, highly flavorful spice. And so I'm just going to stir that a little bit with the onions and that turmeric in the curry powder will turn the onions yellow. Then I'm going to add my frozen vegetables. I've got a one pound bag of vegetables. It's a mix of peas and carrots and corn. And I'm going to just stir that around and cook it until the vegetables are heated through and a little bit tender. It doesn't take very long. If you have any cooked vegetables or cooked leftover meat in the refrigerator, this is a good time to toss them in. And then the rice. I'm just going to put it in and once again I'll just stir this up until it's heated through. Now you can see that this is really going to make a nice large amount of curry fried rice and it's wonderful the next day you can pack it up and take it for lunch. It's easy to heat up and it only gets better with age. I'm going to sprinkle in just a little bit of salt and then of course the toasted slivered almonds. And there you have it, you've got a wonderful meal. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.